Okay, so the first thing you need to do is of course press the menu button, go to your settings, and there we get our first option for video, which is aspect ratio. So this is in three by two, which is the actual size of the sensor, which is more of a square. It's closer to being a square. Um, it's more boxy, but um, all YouTube videos and uh, most videos are 16 by nine. So I shoot my videos in 16 by nine personally. Um, so you don't have to like uh, crop it afterwards um, and there's no edges on it. Um, that's again, that's the YouTube preferred video uh, ratio. So I put that in 16 by nine. Then we get to file formats. You want you want to go change that. It might start on AVC HD, I'm not too certain, but you're going to want to put XAVCS because that is the highest quality you can get um, for video recording on you. So you're going to want to put that on. The, this other stuff that's blacked out, we can't affect because it doesn't uh, have to do with video. So don't worry about that. Then we get to record settings. So this is your frames per second and the 50M is basically the file size. It's, it's how much it writes. Um, so I like to shoot in 24 frames. Uh, it's my personal favorite. 60 frames is like more for a bit more slow motion. Um, not great at slow motion, but you can slow it down quite a, quite well. Um, I prefer 24. It's more common. It's what movies are filmed and they, sh they shoot in 24. So for my everyday filming, I shoot in 24 almost always. Uh, the higher you get, the more slow you can make it. So 60 frames, 120 frames. This camera can't do 120, but I'm just saying, for example. So if you do want to do a bit of slower work um, or slow mo shots or cinematic shots, 60 frames can be helpful. But my main choice is 24. I always shoot in 24 frames. Okay, then we go down to this, which I do not worry about. Um, focus area, I put on wide. So basically that's just uh, the area that the camera will focus on, on the screen or the sensor. Um, center isn't bad either, because generally with filming, you are filming the center of the, uh, the image. Um, you, that is what you want to focus on. But wide is just a good range. And um, if you are moving around, it is helpful. Um, as opposed to with photography, I normally shoot on flexible um, with medium and small. Um, so I can get like that, that detail um, precisely where it needs to be. But for video, again, I shoot wide. Um, autofocus illuminator off. These I don't really play with. Um, I kind of leave those as they are. Then your ISO, you always want your ISO as low as possible. The higher you get with the ISO, it means it's brighter. It's making the image brighter. Um, and then you get more grain and um, it's, it's worse for exposure as well. So you always want that as low as possible on 100 multi metering mode i leave that on multi uh, sorry there um while well, balance i leave on auto i do not play around with that um creative style i leave on neutral i don't want to put any other added things on it because um i like to change it by myself in a uh, post um i do a lot of uh in premiere pro I, I, I change the colors there and i'll do the why is it eluding me what is the word Color coding, color grading, something. Yeah, it's one of those things. Sorry. So I leave that on neutral. Um, picture effect off. No, not that. No, that's for photography, really. So I don't really play with that. Smile and face detection on, of course, if you have uh, people walking in front, because a lot of people set up a tripod, you're not behind the camera at all times. So you want something like this so that. Um, when people walk by, it will focus on them naturally, which is very helpful. Uh, I keep exiting there, sorry. Um, also, slow shutter, I leave off because uh, if you have this on, it kind of, uh, you don't want it to have that free reign to have a slow shutter and um, it'll capture a lot more light and change it a lot. So I leave that off just in case. Um, audio recording, of course, I have on. I don't generally record audio from here. When I'm recording audio, I'll do it from my iPhone or my Sony A7R III because I have a microphone for that. Um, my wind noise reduction, I leave off. Of course, if you're outdoors, you should have this on. But um, I'm generally filming inside. And if you are filming in inside in a closed space with no, um, no wind, of course, then have it off rather so that it doesn't uh, change the sound at all with other sounds and effects. Don't have to worry about this stuff. Zebra, I leave this off, but this is helpful um, with regards to if your shot is overexposed in, the, in your video, it'll show you, it'll have lines in the sky, and then you can adjust your settings and it will uh, slowly uh, go less and less until it's not overexposed. So that is very helpful. I don't personally use it on here, but um, if you do want to go look at that, um, I'm sure you can do some quick research on which setting you want, but Zebra can be very helpful for that. 
but um, you can see if something's overexposed, so I don't generally use it. Um, I leave these grid lines, I leave off. Some people do like their grid lines. I personally just leave it off. I like just filming as is, I'm not having to worry about the other stuff. You, uh, like, um, I'm, I'm pretty steady with my hands. I like keeping my camera still and flat, so rotation-wise, I'm pretty confident. But um, a lot of people have rule of thirds or square grid on. That's preference. I like mine off personally, as I said. Um, with face detection, I, I don't really need it. I'm not looking at what I'm filming a lot of the time because I'm filming myself and videos, so I can't really do that. Um, so I leave that off personally, so that's not a thing for me. Um, all of these I leave as is. Um, leave these as is, these as is. So these are your personal buttons and preferences. So you can change what each things do. So you can change uh, pressing this, this, and this, and this, what this does. Um, so that's quite helpful. It's um, up to your preference and uh, you can change to what feels more comfortable for you and add some hidden things, or not hidden things, but um, some nice shortcuts for yourself, which is really helpful and can be really nice because you also have buttons like here, C2, C and C1 that um, are shortcut buttons themselves. So it makes it a lot helpful to navigate sometimes and get to other features that would otherwise take quite a few while scrolling through the menus. So that's really helpful. Um, this, uh, you don't really do anything. Nothing, 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 nothing. Monitor brightness. Uh, you might want to change this to sunny weather. As you can see, it makes it a tiny bit brighter there. Um, because you never know, okay, well, you all know, but um, when you're outside filming, um, I actually didn't re know about this until quite recently. So often when I'd film, I'd have to look through the viewfinder to watch my playbacks because it would be too dim. I didn't realize I could put sunny weather on. So that's very helpful. Take it from me who didn't know about that and is now using it. It's quite helpful to have. So you can see things always. I leave my viewfinder brightness on auto because your eyes in there so that a light around you doesn't really matter. I leave these off all this off and i think that's everything the rest of this doesn't really matter you can clean your sensor if you want um it kind of does it by itself which is really cool i don't really know how how that exactly happens but that's pretty cool <laughs> um what else i think that's everything that's everything for my camera settings so just a quick recap recap sorry 16 by 9 xabc s um up shoot 24 frames Keep a wide focus, ASO 100. And that's that's about the main, um, those are the main settings. Those are the main things uh, you, you gotta worry about. Okay, so the only difference with this lens on is, uh, which honestly can be on anyway, is steady shot. So this lens is an optical steady shot lens, as you can see here, which means it comes with steady shots in it, which, uh, slightly crops the image and um, makes it more stable which is really really handy to have especially if you're filming freehand so if you do have a lens with that i would recommend keeping that on um, and that is, would be the only difference everything else would stay the same if you are going to film in manual be very certain that your lighting isn't going to change because uh, especially if you're shooting in a studio on a tripod because you'd hate to come back and see that um, a lot of your video is over or underexposed you can tweak that in post but um, be very certain with that. But you would want to keep your ISO as low as possible if your room is well lit. And your depending on what you want in focus, uh, you want your... I normally keep... Um, I shoot with a 50mm lens normally, 1.8. So I always keep that at 1.8 so it can focus uh, on me and blow me out quite well with the bokeh. Um, or blow the background out, sorry. So I enjoy that. So I keep it as close to zero as possible with my aperture, my ISO as low as possible. And then my frames, you want to generally be, um, your frames, the rule with it is you want it to be double uh, around what your, uh, sorry, your shutter speed, not your frames, your shutter speed, you want to be double your frames per second. So if I'm shooting on 24, you'd basically say 25. So you'd put your shutter speed at 50. And uh, for the same, if you're shooting at 100 frames per second, you'd put it at 200. And if you're shooting at uh, 60 frames per second, you want your shutter speed at uh, 120. So that is generally the golden rule with that. Um, you don't want to go below that, you can go over, but you generally don't want to stick to going below that. Um, that's generally the rule with that. 
And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. And as much as I think I can help you with, if you have any further questions, please feel free to ask. If you have any other videos you would like me to make discussing uh, similar topics or anything camera related, again, please feel free to ask. I'd be more than happy to do some research and uh, give a, as detailed of a video as I can. And yeah, thank you very much for watching. If you're still here, I really appreciate it. And thank you.